Okay, so. Alright. Life. It's so freaking awesome. Like, I don't know if you feel the same way or if most people feel the same way, but life is very, very important and we should feel so fucking grateful to be experiencing this and we should try to make the most of it and like yeah there's a lot of shitty things that happen in life and um sometimes you even feel like killing yourself or whatever you know it can get bad but if you just hold on another day you won't regret it in the long run because eventually things will look up things will get better so i don't know what my point is with all that i think i'm going off on a limb for my main point and i don't want this video to be long at all because okay so this video is directed to you jack um i'm just in my garage pacing after a hard week week worth of work you know whatever and um when i first okay spiritually talking I remember one time as we're getting to know each other, I don't know, maybe I've been, I'm not for sure, but I think I've been working with you maybe six months to a year or something like that. Not a whole long time, but a little bit. And I remember sitting in your kitchen and we're talking and somehow or another, we got on a subject of like, I said, yeah, something about the Bible and people believing in Jesus. And I said, but I, I ain't believing in that no more. You know, I opened my eyes to the bigger picture. And that's when you first said, yeah, I don't believe that either. So I knew you were an atheist at that point. And I was like, oh, man, that's pretty cool. Because, you know, at that point, I just realized the truth or whatever. Um, and boy, going through that at that time was... Um, crazy for me because you know uh, I come from religion both parents my mom's not like going to like churches anymore but that's not what it's about she uh smokes cigarettes or whatever she you might even be able to talk her into having a drink I don't know rarely I haven't ever really seen her drink lately but uh like again you know I'm gonna keep going off on limbs because this is like a big important subject and I don't even know what my punchline is going to be or nothing I'm just going for the moment because uh you like to strike up conversations in this department so do I and um I guess my point one of my points is is you and I are on the same page um especially a while back but um, people might argue the fact that a while back my uh, belief system might have been brought upon because of artificial substances uh, working, in my, working in my brain. You know what I mean? You knew that I used to have an addiction, you know, um, to meth or whatever. And since I've stopped... Um, I feel that sometimes I find myself, okay, yeah, okay, gosh, I'm stuttering a lot, maybe I should just edit this video later, that's okay, I can think out loud, right, basically, I was programmed as a kid, from the age of two years old, my parents went steadily to church, and we're not just talking like regular church. We're talking like straight up. You go two times on Sunday. You go to Tuesday prayer meeting. And you go to Thursday worship. So like. And all. You know what I mean? And it was straight up. Um, girls wear long dresses and long hair. Guys, they don't wear shorts. They wear only jeans. They keep their hair short. They don't wear jewelry. Um. You know what I mean? Very, very modest and very uh, 
conservative, I guess is a good word for it. Um, hey, here's diesel. Anywho, um, hold on, I lost my train of thought. I'm going to get back on it. All right, so that was the apostolic Pentecostal religion. I was since two years old that I was raised in. And, um, you know, as I started getting older and older, and I had an older brother and an older sister, too, and they uh, all had to do it, too, and uh, had a lot of, you know, good times with good friends in the church, too, though. Don't get me wrong. I can introduce you to each one of them, each and every one of them. And I know at least one of them for a fact, and you met them, too, Donnie Burnett. They would, like, they beg to differ and uh, very intelligent as far as some of the things you know, too. You know what I mean? I heard he's in jail now. Let's keep him in prayer, Jake. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not funny. Uh, very off the subject. I'm embarrassed now. I don't even mean to be like that. I don't know. I'm just kind of like half confused. Got to pause this for a second and see some beautiful food. I'm recording myself, but I'm not looking at myself because I got some very important things in my mind that I need to remember and send to somebody else. You want to be a part of it? Jack. Mm. <laughs> Dang, that's good. Sorry, I cut it out for a minute. Joy brought some good food. But, here's a look back. So what I propose to cut this short is a discussion with you about um, religion and politics because either I need to be reminded of how I came to believe this because maybe um, it's kind of smoky to me, but now that I'm of a clear mind, maybe I need to get back to remembering because I'm starting to believe in my roots like you know what maybe there is a God or maybe it is important that we follow this and this path and if that's the case you know I want to do whatever I'm supposed to be doing I want to serve my purpose you know and if there's a God I want to know what my purpose is so let's talk religion. See you soon, brother.